the main workspace area. This is where the modules from your current workspace will be visible. Each module, regardless of its contents, has a few generally available features. First, in the upper left corner, we can see the binding indicator, which is a color-coded dot that allows you to bind modules together. You can use Quotes Monitor as a source module and Chart, Options Chain or Price Letter as a destination mod. Any contract that you can click on the Quotes Monitor will synchronize the same contract between the modules from the same color. If you want to disable the binding for a certain module, simply click on the indicator, either select another color code for it, or simply disable it altogether. Next, we can see the module title, which is the translated value. So if you change the language, all of the module titles will update accordingly. On the right side of the modules, you will see first a help button where available, which will bring up an instruction video specific to that module, just like this current video. Next to it, you're going to see the delete frame button, which we already used in previous videos. Last, we can see a menu button, which will group a number of available features for the given module. We can notice functions like maximize and restore, which can also be obtained by double clicking the tiles bar. Next, we can also see externalize, which will pop the module into a separate browser frame so you can use it in a multi-monitor environment. To pop the module back in, simply come to the menu and hit internalize. Cloning a module is just as easy, just select the clone module options from the menu, which will create an exact duplicate of the module that you just cloned. Also, you might find some other menu items depending on the module that you're working on. For modules that show any kind of grids, rows and columns, you might see a column selection dialog, which we'll explore in the custom tutorial video for each module. Selecting a certain module can, done, can be done simply by clicking on it. You will see a highlighted border for the currently active module. Switching to free layout will allow you to resize and move all of your modules to your choosing. Dragging the module will simply reposition it in the desired position. You will see these guidelines that allow you to arrange the modules with other modules. There's also a snapping function, so when you bring the module close enough to the line, it will snap to it. Resizing modules is just as easy. You can do the resizing in all directions and all corners. Switching back to the automatic layout is always easy by simply clicking the Auto Arrange button. Once you're in the automatic layout, the workspace will always try to find the best layout possible for the number of modules that you have. So if we resize this frame, we will notice that it will jump to the best possible combination, laying out the items vertically. If we switch back to a larger view, it will rearrange them. 